Hello, no, I'm here watching later. Well, now or later, hitting here along with. Right here! And welcome back to Slime Rancher again for the sixth time. I have to say, I was not expecting this to go for this long. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, a bit of an update on stuff. Apparently, uh, Twitch is still having issues with hate raids, which is basically a bunch of bigots uh, and bots going around insulting anyone uh, and trying to get them banned through just uh, just racist slurs and such in their... Yeah, by posting racist slurs and stuff in their chat. And uh, apparently, Twitch blames the streamers themselves for those. So they get harassed, and then Twitch blames the ones that get harassed. Real smart, guys. So, yeah, on that, uh, anyone who may have... Uh, you know, we already had a big-ass leak on this, uh, uh, on this platform before, but if if you have anyone in your followers named Haas00 and then a bunch of numbers after that, uh, yeah, those are bots who have been associated with those hate raids, so throw them out as fast as you can. If <laughs> and with the PSA done, let's get back into the game. I'm still surprised that people spend time doing this. Yeah, there's just some people who are... I'll just be blunt, who are so pathetic that the only way they can get any satisfaction in their life is trying to pull down anyone else that they see. It's like the stuff what they say of uh, crabs in a bucket. If any of the crabs try to escape, the other crabs will just try to pull them down. I'm not sure if that's actually a real thing or not. But yeah. These assholes being assholes, but we're not here to complain about idiots, we're here to ra to ranch some slums. And first of all, I did a bit of planning on how to reorganize this place. Uh, first off, we're going to feed these angry little idiots. I probably should just install... Uh, <clears throat> I probably should just install a music box with them. And 1500, 1500... Warp Depot station. Uh, these can be used to basically move stuff between two points. You could plop one down somewhere and use it as a temporary storage, but once both sides are down, you can only re remove them by destroying them. And... Yeah, let's see. I could get these, but for now, let's not, since we've not actually used the normal ones, and I probably should have fed those guys. Actually, let's see if I can see. Oh. Okay, he was going to. He was. Uh, ow! Okay, I deserve that for sticking all of them in here. Yeah, it's a bit overpopulated with them. Can I. No, I, I cannot get the last fruit. Okay. There. Okay, now what's my notes I have here? Those are notes of a different game. Okay, we need... We don't have any tangle slimes on our plate, on our farm yet. And I'm keeping the dervish and mosaics in the grotto there. Though I do think I could put a different kind of... Uh, a different slime species on the upper area here. Uh, possibly, though for now we can keep the chickens here because they are safe from this. And let's actually collect some floors here. And can these throw us around? No, they cannot, so that's <laughs> that's a useful thing. Uh, let's see. Veggie and fruit, yeah. These Aka Aka aren't their favorites. I don't know if we've seen any of the ones that they like yet. Okay, that looks pretty cool. And you gotta keep an eye out for those fires. So, yeah, these guys will stay here. And maybe they'll get some upstairs neighbors. Where did those fall? Okay, those were just... Oh, they got thrown around, probably. Let's... 
Now, with, I've learned that with the gadgets, with the, there's a specific warp tech that we want. And that is something that'll allow us to have drones, or uh, would allow us to put anything that can go into the refinery from anywhere near it. Uh, no need for those. For those. And with that, we could automate the uh, floor collection of the ones that we need for the extractors. Only a low amount of these mosaic ones, but probably because all of the dervish <laughs> slams have been eating them. Let's see. There. I heard a sound there. Again. It could be these sparkles that are being created, even though the mosaic one mosaic slime should only be able to create these when exposed to sunlight. And they are very much creating them, it seems, everywhere. So maybe moving them somewhere else would work anyways. I, I, I was thinking about moving them to the lab at the back floor at plots, where the fire will not be able to hurt anything. Oh, well, yeah. this fire. Yeah, I would say, if, if they all react to the sunlight, then they should be safe down here. Yeah. So, there's still some fire here and there. Here and there, there's quite a bunch of the sparkles. Oh yeah, the one that is not pupils, but they actually burn. Hmm. I'll have to do a quick... Actually, I could... I could mix dervish slimes with quantum slimes and keep them in here. That should keep them safe. And yeah. away from everything that should... They could cause harm with. And the quantums are fruit slimes. Yeah, so the realized. chickens would be safe still. Hmm? I just realized. But these those sparks are supposed to turn into five tornadoes. And when it's small and fire burn on the ground. Okay. Let me up your sound a bit. Alright. That's a bit too loud for me. Okay. I don't think there will be interactions of that sort in this game. Maybe in Slime Rancher 2, if the uh, well, if those Wait, slimes make a return. Have you forgot? That hmm? actually wrong. It's like it's from Wikipedia that they made you summon fire tornadoes in your form. No, it said tornadoes. It's the uh, the mosaics can cause fires, like it says here. To deter similar in fact, the effects to me is unknown. To deter. Even more dangerous, the mosaic slime can provide produce glints in the space around them, ultra hard solar anomalies that grow in intensity before drifting toward the ground and bursting into flames. Oh, With right. the dervish, it's that they can whip up a, a tornado, a cyclone, or a tornado. I don't. I think. The, the only really difference between a tornado and a cyclone is what area of the planet they are on, which affects the way they spin, I believe. Okay, that is more than plenty of <laughs> that we need at the moment. How are... Oh, yeah. This will make, give us even more. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, we'll need this money for our... Nope. <laughs> we'll need that money for our renovations and to get a few more of uh, yeah the, the blueprints we can buy those now easily but let's first focus on uh, let's leave two yes oh, uh, what are you doing up here I don't know I'm accidentally thinking the hunter flying for escape <laughs> Uh, I saw the shimmer, and hello there, Pram 6 Thank you for watching, and I hope things will not be too chaotic here, I say, as a cyclone approaches. <laughs> yeah, back down there. Okay. And yeah, having read the Slimepedia page again, not all of the glints are dangerous, it's the ones that get super hot that are and cause a fire. 
but for now, we need to feed the cats, uh, because they are getting a, <laughs> a bit grumpy. Ow. And we need these ports anyways, for the refinery. Uh, go back there, you. Let's see. Ramsey again. Hopefully no more slam genocide anymore, yeah. I've been planning a bit on how to uh, distribute the slams around a bit, and that was only three plorts, okay. Yeah, we're, we're going to be mixing the hunters with honeys, I'd say, because hun honey slams are pretty easy to uh, satisfy, to get you know, double plorts out of them. For now, let's get these. Let's see. There is, there's something you need to buy before you can get the uh, the warp deposit, or the, the, the delivery, no, the refinery warp station. And yeah, they can just stay in there for now. Okay. So up on the list for today is to get more slams from the glass desert. Maybe even beat one of the Gordos there. So I think we only found one, which was a tangle, I believe. Let's check the map. And before I forget, where did I leave? There did I leave it. Here's the map I printed out. Sticking that back there to check when needed. Let's see, glass desert, and it's a tangle, so we need chickens. We'll just, well, the best way to get chickens at the moment is to just go grab some along the way. Um, let's see. In the meantime, let's just grab up these boards, put them in the refinery. And yeah, we'll need to get started on drone production and making drones sooner or later to automate things a bit. Because this. Yeah, I'm guessing this stuff is a bit of the end game. And yeah, yeah it'll, it'll take a bit of grinding, a, a lot of grinding actually. Yeah, what, what do we need to make the drones? For that we need hunter slimes, uh, hunter lords I think, uh, utilities. Honey, quantum and hunter. Wild honey, jellystone and hexacomb. So we'll need to make some apiaries and yeah, apiaries and drills. We had, we had some drills set up still. But yeah, it's the pink plots that are an issue at the moment. For we need to feed yeah. them a lot. Not here. I remember first time I heard about pink. Yeah, there we. And I thought something about pink. <laughs> 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 okay. For now, the pinks are going to be the the. <clears throat> For now, the pink slimes are going to be the choke points, so let's start with a big apiary. And I still need to think about how to set up a bit of a teleporter network. Because we have enough spots over here to basically get teleported to the areas where these extractors give extra stuff. And I think I made a note of which were where, and it actually, it actually doesn't matter where in the location you set the extractor down. It only matters that you set it down anywhere in the region. So we did not need to put that one down there. Now I think the... The drills do well here, the pumps do well in the dry reef, I think, and then as such the apiaries would work best in the overgrowth. And yeah, there's the pipe. So somehow, even though they don't really have much access to sunlight, they still just... They still cause problems. Okay. At the very least, we can grab up the harvest and feed capital things. Yeah, they're, they're contained. They won't be a threat to the other parts. I think I just stole that one snack. Sit, sit still. Okay. 
They seem to prefer the fruit, since that's emptied out. Let's grab a few cell, and I hear that sparkle. What is making that sound? It's probably the glints. Or maybe it's a sign that one of the glints is going to blow or something. Okay. Uh, let's hope that the, the fires they can cause don't end up killing the chickens. And one extra again. Bit of a detour to the pinks to feed them. Then we'll... I don't think we've put any der dervish plorts in the refinery. So let's go do that as well. That should keep them happy for a bit. And yeah, we're going to need to mix these up with something else as well to make it easy to up the production. Maybe honeys as well, because honey slimes are, well, they're pretty sweet for, <laughs> for corralling. Since, well, they're mild-mannered and they're easy to please. There we go. Let's get another. And let's also get a pump. Okay. <laughs> oh, actually, I Yep, we have these still. Okay, some for them. And more for these guys. Okay. I think I realize why I dislike food that tastes meat. Yeah, uh, why? Well, I tried a few times people bought me ice cream, and a few times they bought the uh, magnum meat. What the fuck is wrong with it? They don't food with me. Ice cream okay. too. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah. From there, I I can't look at you and things. And those landed way short. Let's get a few more out of this. We've already spent out half of what we gained. And these hunter plorts are going in here because I don't want to make another turn back to the lab now. Okay. And let's see. And whilst we're here, uh, Sora, help me out and I'll make sure you get what's out. Okay. Three stony hands and nine salt uh, phosphorus for a bit of that. Okay. Not too bad. That's very easy. Yeah. Especially now, when it's night. And, well, there's the <laughs> on demand. Okay, just come on over here. Okay. Yeah, first business for now. Actually, that's more than needed. First business, get back to the desert. Try and feed the Gordo. Get some more slimes for the ranch. And then once that is done, we can work on the reorganization a bit. And yeah, that's what I do right here. The stacking up. We are, I just fed you, little idiots. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, ha mixing them with, yeah, mixing them with. <laughs> and I speak today, mixing them. With honey slimes is going to make them a lot more easy to please. I hope, and that chicken was just nabbed. Okay. Yeah, we're we're not using a teleporter because we need meat for the gordo. So yeah. We will find more of those if we just walk for now. Here you not you. Oh, Elder. Uh, you're of little use. I'll take the Roostros as... Actually, I think it might be a better idea to leave the Roostros be. Or... 
Actually, no, we can take them. There are three species. Oh, we have we have stony, we have briar, and we have the colored ones, and they're okay. And we have normal hens. So yeah, there's four types of normal chickens. A fifth with the roosters. So yeah, it'll probably be better if I just throw them out somewhere. But for now, let's just keep them. And we'll see how many of the stony hens we'll run into or not. Say that and we immediately find four. Okay, bye-bye. Just need as many chickens as we can. Stuff down that Tangle Slime's gullet. Oh, I hear... I heard tar mix. Oh, <laughs> right next to it. Wait. Okay, where, where did that chicken sound come from? Okay. Might be me. I doubt that. Where did it say? That <laughs> yeah, sounded more like a go goofy holler. <laughs> but now I know what that's called, a holler. No need for piggyback rides from pink slimes. No. Okay, that was a cute metal name as a, a pink slime riding on your back. Up, more chickens here. And another tar slime immediately. There we go. Still didn't leave many chickens for us, but okay. I know there's a spawn point up here. There you are. And only chicks otherwise. Oh, oh well. You don't always get a bunch of fowl to play with. I think your mic is a bit close <laughs> to the speakers again. Actually, I was turned away from the speaker at the moment. <laughs> you. Of you. I haven't actually kept a count of how many each one has wanted to be filled up this time, but I'm going to take a guess that it's. Probably around 50 or so. 25 if, if it's their favorite foods. Mm. Oh, yeah. Just need to keep an eye out for any more chicken spots. I think there's one up there. Uh, we'll need to get there first. We still... Actually, no, we know... We can we can stop at the the boom gordo first because that that also wants meat. And yeah, there's two keys to be found here, and that is probably one of them. Hmm. Okay, then that's a good thing that we're bringing as m many chickens as possible, since we'll have to feed the both of them. Were there any chickens around here? I forgot completely how you finished the game. Hmm. I'm presuming that there's no re not really a hard end of the game. More like an end of the story that's in the game. So, yeah, you, you could just play this game on infinitely, I think. Just, uh, you know, <laughs> breeding around more you know, Largo types and such. And uh, eventually just, uh, yeah, having played as much as you want off this game. As... Hmm. And it, there's always pros and cons to that type of game. Like, you could, you could always come back to it for short, uh, for short times. Every now and then, 
but for certain people it would get just boring eventually. And the slimes are really active today with just uh, grabbing as many chickens <laughs> before we can. And yeah, there he is. See any more chickens? Pardon? Plenty of energy. Let's see, I believe you preferred a specific one, so let's start off with that. The briar hen. Okay, we only have two, so oh well. Then the stony. Actually, we need stony hens for the request, so let's not send all of those in. Come on. Come on. Really? I think it's just only one or two away from bursting. Oh well. I guess that means that we're going to have to... We should probably put up some more chicken coops. What did you sacrifice? You ones. Because we, can, we have more breeding back at the, the ranch. And I get the feeling, oh, we also have more here. I get the feeling if we brought over the roostros, we would have been able to finish it off. So, yeah, let's gather these up. And the roostro dies first. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah it, it really is just twitching and ready to move at any second. We could take that out of context, probably. Morning. There we go. Okay, I was not expecting that kind. Oh, I should have expected it to actually blow up like that as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I need boom slimes for one of the combos, so might as well grab all of them up. And there's a chicken in the wall. There's a chicken. What is this? Fire ornament. Okay. Don't fall in the water. <laughs> Almost did. Okay. Well, we can take the teleporter back and drop off these boom slimes and deposit the hens as well. I have no need for that. Or you. Really, I, I, I have no need of those specifically because I fed the pink slimes that we have. Let's see, there isn't actually an entrance to the side here. So, yeah, let's just do a bit of air parkour again. Let it recharge. And there we go. More advanced cracker. Okay. Um, let's see. Hen. And this is... About here. Okay. Here. Uh, yeah, I, I really hope that in Slime Rancher 2 they add the, the ability to just put pins on your map or something. I've looked around for mods on this game, and I don't think I saw that in there either. Which is something you'd probably expect at least someone to try and make. I think all two of them. Maybe. I know, I know pretty much nothing about programming, so I can't speak on how easy or hard it all would all be. Mm, yeah, that, that nest was completely blocked, and how did that one go so high? Yeah, the only thing I know is whenever you have something that's called Code Age you do not be messing with it. Yeah. Just yep. messing with it mainly where they break the entire game in. Yeah, you kind of need a game to be functional in the first place.
There. Okay, yeah, we're going to need to make another walkthrough or just breed a bunch of chickens to feed the other one. Yep, what the hell? Cool. God. I heard it. I just didn't. It. I just had. Yeah. I was trying to switch to the chickens to feed it, but yeah. <laughs> I, I think that's twice now that we've missed both Lucky and Gold Slimes. Yeah, the man feeling at the best at moments. Yeah, one other mod that I saw was one that gives extra backpack slots. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'd go for that since it is. If you put that, you know, if you install a mod like that, you'd be very tempted to just add more and more slots until you can basically carry anything in the game at the same time. Yeah, that's a bit too old power. And I forgot to keep an eye on my power. Okay. Oh, come on, it wasn't even rolling there. Or spinning up for that matter. Wait, you could have just put the returning in your power power man. And over the two hand. Nice. Can you repeat that? I said, uh, we should go ahead back to the farm and hand in the stony hand. Yeah. Oh, come on. It, it can't have been that long. Oh, oh, hello, Bob. And he wants chickens. Okay, he at least... No, oh, wrong type. He wants briar, rustro, or bay. Just <laughs> want one of each. Not really worth it with that, but okay. For now, drop all of you off in here. Actually, not all of you, because then you'll get shy with each other and stop reading. There. Leave the rooster with its own little harem. And this will just be a deposit for the moment. Okay. I didn't actually know that where I'd put each Largo for the production. So, actually, I have written down which ones would work well. So that each of them has a vegetarian preference. Or at least he will eat something vegetarian. Let's see, Honey and Boom Slime, Rock and Tabby, which we already have. And then Rad and Phosphor. But you also already have. Uh, this looks like they ran out of food again. Okay. They go through it real fast, <laughs> I think. Or they're just being yeah, greedy. Half out of here. I almost put it into the fabricator. Anyways, I'm thinking about putting mosaic slimes over. I was thinking about putting mosaic slimes over here, since well, their fires wouldn't be of any harm. But they're, they're already safe in the grotto. Just if I need the grotto for something else. I can just move them out. Though the dirt, I yeah, I need to go find new mosaic slimes or use their ports to make Largos. Oh, because the solar anomalies in the desert. But that too, as well, uh, I thought uh, combining other powers would make it, uh, instead of you doing it, tomatoes, 
They make fire generators instead. Yeah, they don't. Also, yeah. Hmm. Oh, this still counts as the ranch, not the lab itself. Okay. Uh, let's double check then if it also counts the grotto as the ranch still. It probably will, just for ease's sake. Okay, so there is still one singular treasure pot somewhere in here. And we need one of you and one of you. And we can get Bob to move on with his request because we want one from Victor. Because like the other two ranchers, the actual ranchers, except for uh, Thora, Victor also has a mini game for us. Okay. Hmm. Let's just get rid of these for the moment. <laughs> okay, that's a lot of phase lemons. Uh, why did I actually grow these here? They are the quantum slimes' favorites, but uh, they are over there. And they already have, they're mixed with uh, the honey slimes, which prefer the mint mangoes, which are already growing over there. So why did I, why did I just make this here? Maybe for variety and also we, we can remove, yeah, we can remove this one. Already a new batch. Oh, Actually, it's me. Okay. I didn't realize. Where are the older hens? We put them in the docks. And oh, that's the refinery link. That is what I wanted. Yeah, the chicken party we moved to the docks. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'll probably be moving the quantum slimes here on, out to somewhere else. So, yeah, I, I think I might move the quantum slimes to the main area. And yeah, this is where the elders are, since they won't get eaten here. At least not yet, because I'm thinking about putting the tangle slimes here. And just to, oh, yep. We do not want... We do not want them to get there. Actually, no, they're already honeyed. They don't... We don't want this... This. We won't... Don't want any of these guys to get their hands on a tabby floor. So you two, just eat up. And there we go. That'll clean it out automatically, and that's it. <laughs> okay, we're cleaning that out. We're going to sell these. Not want to let any of those lay around here. Or just a few of them, they are very productive. Then again, they've also been sitting here for quite a while. Yep. <laughs> for a moment I thought that was a rock plort. But yeah, we'll probably be putting the tangle slimes over here safely away from anything else. Um, for safety, I will be moving the quantums away, just in case they end up... Actually, most of the food is... Uh, no, the quantums could get their hands on a tangle plort, and then just cause all sorts of trouble. <laughs> yeah. So, preemptively put one down. What about the incinerator for? That's actually over here, which I was going to set up now. And, okay, they are still here as well. Let me drop off those, because they probably have a good amount more. Yep. I'm not sure what water plorts or puddle plorts are used for in the, the slime science. No. This is all very tough Yeah. And apparently each slime type has a, duck, has a toy that they prefer. And for, well, the puddle slimes, it's obviously the ducky. The incinerator can be upgraded with an astro. 
Astro allows you to collect the ash of incinerated food at its base, which is eaten exclusively by fire slimes. It's gross. <laughs> we can hold fire slimes in this. Which are the ones that are basically have been dying off every time we uh, try to... <clears throat> we, uh, we try to capture one uh, during the solar anomalies. Okay. Also, apparently there's, a, yeah, there's also apparently a chance that stuff will wash off on the beaches here, but... Yeah, we haven't seen that yet. For now, we are going to need to fuel that thing. So... Let's just upgrade one completely. Except for the scare air tower. And the hand... Actually... I could probably put the honey slime... Honey booms here. I immediately put high walls on that. And then we have another one here that we could also put some food on. Um, yeah, we need something to keep that fueled. And then another here. And there we go. Now we just need to get our hands on some mint mangoes and some... Oh, we have honey pots already and I almost ran into the water there. Okay. Also an Maybe air net. Just for our own safety, we're putting a slime collector on there. And last one. There we go, nine honey boom booms. And no, I was not combining those to make a reference to honey boo boo or anything. I. I've heard of that plenty, but I've never seen anything of it. And I think I'm probably better off not knowing whatever the hell that is. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll take a peek and maybe I'll learn to regret that or not. We'll just have to see with time. I, I it's very extremely mild compared to people's panels. Okay. Now... So, um, the one they add in Sweden, they probably add the, the more noises one, I think. Let's fill up again. I don't think we've thrown too many of these inside into the refinery, so we can do that. We can also go buy the blueprint for the refinery link. Because once we have that, those, along with a bunch of drones, which apparently you can only put two drones in one area each here. So you can have a maximum of two, four, uh, six, eight, ten at the moment. And yeah, they can only, the basic ones can only do one thing at a time. So you can automate the feeding and port collection of a single corral there. There is an advanced version, but for that we need access to Victor's minigame. And yeah, we need to go grind at that for quite a bit of time. Yeah, so, um, if we could drop that one, it would be off screen. Yeah, if we do it, if we go for that at all, that is. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm thinking once we're done with the story of this, that we could eventually just come visit again every once in a while, like once in a month or so, just to check on the progress or whatever else we can do. Though once we get to the point that we'd only be grinding the, <clears throat> where we'd only be grinding the mini games, at that point I'm pretty sure we could call it off. Yeah. Okay, chickens are breeding. I saw some chicks. And are they grumpy again already? Oh. Yeah, only about half from what I see. Eat us. Okay, how is this? Tab tabbies are more than plenty. Honeys are short. Mm. 
And then just to have a few in there as well for whatever they may be used for. And we'll, we'll sell the tabbies. Then we can go collect. Yeah, then we can go out for a second excursion to try and feed the other uh, Gordo back in the glass desert. And finally go get those uh, other slimes that we want. Okay, good bunch. I, I think mixing this hunt, the honey slime is basically the safest bet with any uh, slime you can make a gordo out of with any other type because yeah, they, they are just so easy to please. <laughs> and oh, well, welcome back, Framsy. Uh, their PC apparently crashed. Uh, sorry to hear that. My... Welcome back. Yeah. I've been having some. Uh, some minor PC issues as well with the occasional blue screen, but I, I think that's because Windows, the latest Windows update, well, it it just doesn't work. It, if it's tried to install and force install itself like a hundred times already, that's an exaggeration. But whenever it does, it manages to break something. It seems. Okay, let's get an advanced pump, advanced Pierre. And a drill. Uh, we need to sell these tabby plorts, gather the chickens, and head for the glass desert. And whilst we're on the way, we can put down the extractors. And I forgot we had an, a spare, <laughs> spare rooster in storage. Hmm. Actually, I can hear you. I'm there. Each. No, for a moment I thought I sucked them up again. <laughs> two of those. It, it'd probably actually be better to put two roosters in a pen, but oh well. Let's just check here as well for the population. Are, are you not busy at all? There's, there's no chicks. <laughs> There we go. Spring grass attracts. Okay. Randomizer. We might revert these to other, something other, some other time, but for now, we just need more chickens. Plain and simple as that. And hello, Granny. Now, you can go play with the real ones. Uh, we can check in a second. Um, no room for the others. And wait, is there a ro rooster in that pen? Yes, there is. Okay. Okay. Upgrades. Sell. And no upgrades available. No. Okay. Sell these, get the chickens. And then move through the <clears throat> then just move through the areas putting down the extractors. And do we have any in here? We have hunter plorts. And we have no more backup rooster. And yeah, then finally we'll be heading to the desert now. You have two in here, why are you not breeding? Okay. We can miss two briars. And okay. Okay, that might explain where some of the are where some of the chickens have gone. Okay, Grumpy, down. Actually that also explains why a few chickens were down here earlier. Yeah. Okay, so maybe no. not the safer chickens. <laughs> yeah, th these things only eat fruit, right? Yeah, and vegetables. Yeah, that might be better in there, Sam. At least they, they spread out the fruit amongst themselves. Yeah. So, yeah, may have to move these roosters elsewhere. 
Yeah, I'm thinking about making the main area the ma the food production zone. Denied by the pink slimes. The cute little pests that they are. Just want as many chickens as possible. Because we really need like 50 to, <clears throat> to satisfy our gordo. Also, we are on the dry... This counts as the dry rift, so we can put the pump down just right, right outside. It must be a terrifying sight uh, in uh, him here. On one hand, the sun look up and see like 10 or 20 pink slams jumping at them at the same time. <laughs> yeah, they may be cute, but they are also just vicious predator of anything that they can eat. <laughs> yeah, except the big animal. They will show mercy to the baby one. Yeah, or like the Slimopedia, Slimopedia says, they can just be waiting like Hannibal freaking Lecter until they have some more bone, yep, some more flesh on their bones. Yeah, true. And now I'm curious about <laughs> fan art of slimes with Hannibal Lecter, you know, with those uh, mouth guards and... Okay, he got <laughs> sent. Those roosters just don't seem to care about anything when they get knocked over, do they? Okay. We'll take a quick peek into the quarry. Put down the, the drills. We still need to go collect from the ones that we put from the one that we set down. And I'm not entirely sure on how those work. It is they should last for multiple days, I think three. But I don't know if that means that they'll dig for the dig the con if you need to empty them out between the days. Why do I hear a chicken here when there is no one in sight? Hmm. Okay. Let's see. We have almost 50, 6, 71, 49. But we'll, we still want as many of these things as we can. Because yeah, we, I think we've had not a single time where we've managed to feed a gordo in one go. Maybe once, but that's a maybe once hesitantly. I say that. And we don't actually have a direct route from here to the quarry, so we'll just have to set those up later, the drills up later. For now. Apiary. Apiary. AP. No, not the drill. Apiary. Probably smarter to put those near the teleporter sites. Uh, yeah. Actually. <laughs> Actually, no, we don't have a tele... We have a teleporter that goes from the overgrowth, or no, the moss blanket, to this yeah, farm, but not one that goes to the moss blanket. The only teleporter we have here goes to the dry reef, so that's... Okay, just putting them at the entrance is the better choice then. We already have tar again. Let's actually stick around a bit. Put these unwashed idiots in the cleaner. Yeah, I and just grab more probably... chickens. Oh wait, that was enough. All right. And I just want to make sure that this time, for once, we do have enough to not need to go find more foods. <laughs> Mossy tree. Okay. Uh, map. Actually, I made a wrong note here, I think. that I made a note for one that has been opened, so let me correct that. And then there is one over here that we have opened. Okay. 
There we go. I should have cleaned this thing out next to my keyboards. <laughs> it's almost... It's on top of some stuff which is partially falling over now. Up, oh, chicken. And one thing that is a bit of a noticeable limitation with this game is that it can only have so much of an area loaded in at a time. Which, well, it causes those mass uh, slime spawns to jump from the ri oh, hello to jump from the rocks and such. It'd be a bit interesting to see if the if more of the world could keep loaded in, but then again you'd also have the risk of just running into tar everywhere because yeah they were bouncing around and eating <laughs> plorts all over the place. Yeah. So, um, why flowers? Mm. Most of these are going to be a bit useless to us unless we want to beautify the ranch. Uh, for which I don't have much interest at the moment. But we'll just have to see how things go. I almost missed you. Yep. Uh, okay, the game crashed. Wait. I don't know if the game has auto saves. If it does not, then we just lost about an hour of our stuff. If our inventory is filled with chickens, it had a mid save somewhere. If it did not, and it I didn't hope... bring up a crash report or anything, so. Rick. I really hope it uh, oh. has a sort of auto save for each day. It, okay, it's saved when we open this up, it seems. Okay, that, that is a big ass relief because if there's one thing I absolutely hate in a game, it's losing progress because, yeah, that, that's the quickest way to, to, for a game to lose my interest if it's just going to waste my time. Yeah, and also, um, screen share, please. Yeah, give me a sec. This screen. There we go. Okay, it apparently all to say by doing that, luckily enough. No, it was at the previous part. I just rushed over. Oh, okay, right. yeah. Like, like I said, if a game is wasting my time by losing my progress, that is one of the quickest way for it to lose... Yeah, for me to just bail on it. I've, I've tried to play through Neverwinter Nights 2 like five times, and each time I would end up losing my save somehow, and hello there. So, uh, yeah, and with one of those... Well, with, with one of those, I know for certain that I got it into the end game. It would help if I brought up the map here to look. So yeah, as as nice as that game is, and as I yeah, I just completely lost interest in it. Because yeah, what's the point in trying to continue it if yeah, you can't continue from where you were lost? Yeah. No, you don't. Yeah, I saw you looking at that. You were. Looking very different for a moment there, you little psycho. Well, if we see any things that I give you the evil eye in the future, we don't know who it is. Yeah, oh, hello there. Can you meet me? Oh, yeah. hello, hello. I think this should be more than enough chickens, but it's better to overkill something than to underkill. That's a bunch more chickens than last time we came around, and the rooster just got headbutted and then eaten. <laughs> the life and times of a rooster on the far, far range. You get it hurt and then you get eaten. All right. Yeah, I, I just really don't want to have to return yet again. So we'll, we'll probably end up with 50 freaking hens in this thing. 
of just the normal hands. Yep, we are. We can we can carry no more hand hands. Okay. Come on. Uh, now I, I might complain a bit about this game here and there, but I'm still freaking smiling, so I think that says enough about me actually liking this game or not. <laughs> Okay. We know the way there already. We know that there's a few nests along the way, but those are mostly for normal hens. So we can just move on. And yeah, it's just it's just a that one had a very that was a very odd look to run into across the corner. Yeah, I think the quantum slimes might have been doing a bit more than uh, face melons or lemons. <laughs> Unless those things are full of crack. Yeah, okay. Is the sounds alone from on this game? Ed? I again not run out of power. Luckily above water instead of slime. I do sort of wonder what it would look like to have much bigger areas uh, with all, with slimes active all at once. I I I get the feeling Slime Rancher 2 will probably incorporate that to a degree. Maybe low... Nope, we are not heading that way. We are not heading for the teleporter. We are heading for this teleporter here. And we... I'm pretty sure we've tried to open that one up, one up before. Mm. I suspect that maybe not for... You can tell. What if you meet the tall slimes everywhere? True. Maybe it'll just make the areas more big and open. The trailer didn't show too much, but I think it did. Hmm. Yeah, the trailers can show many things that may not actually be in the final product. Yeah, and also has another thing. It might take uh, more computer power to keep track of everything in that matter. Yeah. See, we know there's a sea over there for another oasis. But where would be the nearest fountain? There's another here. And we still have these. We still have a few of them. <clears throat> advanced cracker. And I think we've noted that one as well. Yes, we have. Though the fact that my map, the printed map I have, is from when this place wasn't revealed is going to make things a bit more difficult to line, to mark accurately. Ow, ow. Ow. Come on, three times in a row. And we have tar already. Okay. Yeah, how are we going to get some of that mystic water? I think it was called over here. Hmm. Uh, what about ancient? Uh, yeah, probably ancient. Okay. Yeah, we'll have to. We'll have to look around a bit more for now. Feed your favorite first, then the stony hens. Briar. This one's getting a whole. F yeah, this one's getting a whole cheese plate of uh, different types of chicken. There we go. Okay, gather you up. And there they go with the freaking. <laughs> Silver parsnip, like a carrot's rich, a sophisticated cousin. Also, it's silver. 
Okay. I did not expect to find that. Actually, I didn't regret about that in one of the slimes' preferred meat yeah, foods. Let's see. I don't know why, but it feels like a good uh, hopefully last name. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. Veggie favored by mosaic slime. Okay. Despite their slightly metallic aftertaste, these shimmering root veggies are considered a delicacy by gourmands uh, across... I don't know how to pronounce that word, gourmands. Across the galaxy, on the far, far range, ranchers often eat them during the holidays to bring good fortune in the coming year. Okay, so it's a normal food. Nothing special. Let, let's keep one to... to <clears throat> for, the, for the ranch to farm our, ourselves. Put that in the cave. We should know what's all those uh, in the cave, right, with uh, the tomatoes. Yeah. I can hear tar somewhere. So let's just rush back, put this tangle plort into place. And what was that? A bit of rainbow explosion over here? Okay, uh... Wait, wait, wait. Are you planning yeah. to taste the rainbow? No, the, the nostalgia critic has told more, yeah, more than enough people to do that already. Okay, what will this do? Yeah, that's that yeah, it, it's an it's an old joke from. Okay, there's another here. There's an easy way to fix that. We fix our lack of cord. Oh, no, you don't. You can't directly feed them. Okay. Back in the vacuum. Okay. It's probably another. It's probably more somewhere. Yeah, I can't, I can't get the drone. What the heck is it doing? Dervish. Let's see, can we get up to here? This, this seems a bit like a parkour uh, design. How many they I knew do? that people would get up here. Okay. Bad timing. Oh, dear. Check and you're telling me that you're up here and not down there. Uh, I not going I don't want to risk getting too close. To anything with that, and uh, oh, hello. Okay. Uh, come on, grab your food quicker. Oh. Oh, that, okay. So that fire, this fire can kill, or maybe not. So. Back to safety, you. Uh, that doesn't look demonic at all. <laughs> okay, m maybe a lightning or fire won't strike the same place twice, but it wasn't the fire, but it was the rocks. Okay, um... This is our best opportunity to, to grab some fire slimes, though. And yeah, I... Th I think up the cliff. There you are. There we go. Ow! Another? I can do a campfire, except that it moves and it's not fine. I cannot stop it, not just in my mouth. Too quickly, there. And another. I don't think. I think, like the puddle you know, slimes, you can't make hope. You can't make Largos with the Fire Slime, because their diet is so specific. Which is probably good, because otherwise they'd end up burning a lot of stuff down. Yeah! Okay. Alright, let's have a look. Fire Slime. Like a little campfire, except that it moves and it's a slime. <laughs> okay. <laughs> diet? Ash. So, uh... Yeah, Pokemon's protagonist might want to watch out. 
Fire slimes are a rare breed of slime that lives on ass. Fire slimes will eat just about any food, but not without it being burned into ass first. The only way to feed a fire slime is to use an incinerator with an ass throw. No, it's true. Throw? 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 However you pronounce that, upgrade. Fire slimes need ash to survive and will quickly snuff out if left on any other surface for too long. When keeping fire slimes in an ash throw, simply burn any food item to reduce some ash and fill the throw. A fire slime's naturally burning state makes them bad companions for other slimes as their fiery touch will send a slime flying. Okay, so it won't actually kill them, it will just launch them. Which is what happened to that tangle of slimes, I presume. Additionally, fire slimes and their plorts need to be kept in an ash... No, in ash under an incinerator, or they'll quickly snuff out. If you need to deal with fire slimes directly, a splash of fresh water will put out their fire for a short while. Fire plorts are used in the developing world of, of Earth to keep stoves and fireplace burning. Thanks to fire plorts, warm hands and hot food is a possibility for millions of people who otherwise would not have access to such luxuries. A rancher won't get rich selling fire plorts, and certainly managing them can be a dangerous endeavor, but they should know that the sale of each helps those in need. Now and far into the future, the little noble actions of every individual helps us move forward as a people. That much will never change. Okay. That is, uh, pardon the pun, rather heartwarming. Yeah. No, we just want to hold something. <laughs> well, there, there are plushies of slimes that you can buy. Well, the closest thing to a slime at the moment, then, is probably your brain. Yeah, so I might as well hold your brain. <laughs> also, we have a key now. We should have a key. I'm out oh, there with this on the lower side of the menu. There is, we, there's another statue that way that needs a plort of some sort, probably a tangle. Uh, why was there fire there? Pro mosaics, probably. Speaking of... Hmm. Feeding time. Those things are valuable. And we do not want a Largo to get their hands on it. So you... Go take a timeout. Hmm. Okay, this is a good point. We can use these to make mosaic largos, or just sell them. So I just just to... hmm? There's a new raptor skin in, in Game of Two that's called, well, mosaic raptor. Okay. And it looks like it's made of mosaic stone. All right. Now let's see. I don't think there's anything else for us to really get that we can't get or, or have at the moment. And yeah, that, that, that ability to reach around like that is going to make the tangles a bit dangerous, which is why we're putting them in the overgrowth. And I can already hear that the tower spawns somewhere. But for now... Let's move forward first. And after we look for... Yes, <laughs> a bunch more. Thank you. Yeah, there is a certain base price that puts for any plort. There's basically a price that it will never go under. I made a note somewhere of those, but I had to clean out my notes, so I probably threw that out. But yeah, the more difficult a slime is, the more valuable or the, the higher the base price is. So pink slimes and such have a low base price, uh, whereas tangles and mosaics have a higher one. So I think theirs are worth 45 new bucks at the absolute minimum. Hmm. Is there something? Nope. Wait. Oh, 
Okay, I almost missed this. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, we have to... Yeah, I'm not going to risk falling into the slime with this cargo. So let's just move forward. We'll probably find a teleporter sooner or later. There's another of the oasis sprouts here. And that's a nest. Okay. Another nest. Let's see. Oh, and what have we here? Another oh another another note from Hobbs. Yep, just a dervish slime popping up. Oh, hell. Hello, there's something hidden down here. Hello. First, we're going to check out where we know we can return from, because that's a pretty deep uh, pit. Probably is a way back out, but... Let's just make... Let's just go for the easy path first. Yeah, and we should probably also return. Yeah. With this valuable cargo. Okay. Must have been one heck of a scorcher that caused these glass formations. They always look like flames to me, like a great uh, like a great firestorm covered this land before being frozen in time. And again, maybe the, these flame are these are flames burning away, but at a pace we can't even perceive. Perhaps this desert has two different times overlapping one another, and here we are stuck in the middle of it. Wouldn't that just be wild? So, sort of like the quantum slimes, how they can technically exist in two states slash places at once. Interesting theory, but... Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, hello. Wait, purple? Oh, dervish. Dervish slime. Okay. Uh... Yeah, let's go look for a teleporter. There probably is one here somewhere, and I'd rather find it before there's another solar anomaly. This is just coming back. That is... Yeah, that one leads into the sea. I want to check out if I can get over there. So here, here, and then... Okay, it's a treasure pond. Nothing too wanted. Now, can I get an approximation of this place on the map? Around here. And there we go. There. Okay. I might need to print out a smaller map just for this area to have it be more accurate. For now, though, this looks a bit like a dead end, dude. Except for going down here. So, and so far, at in, at the end of each region, there has been a teleporter. And these must be, yep, more silver parsnips. Just to see again. Oh, oh, those are the spe those are the fruits that they like. I don't think we've picked those up ourselves yet. And we come from... Okay, there's a secondary path here. Um, yeah, I don't want to throw away anything of this that they can accidentally eat. And... Um, yep, slime. I'm guessing this open... This connects to the uh, hole we saw earlier. Or the other <laughs> hole. For now, though, we, all we can do really is keep moving forwards. And hello, another note. And more switches, okay. 
Two doors, Beatrix. Life is filled with moments where there's two doors and you can only choose one. I came to the far, far range because a certain search for the unknown is in my bones. And in time, even a thousand light years away from Earth wasn't enough. So I searched for secrets within the ancient ruins that led me here. This place was my ticket to go even further. Alright. No. Nope. Bad time, bad time. Hey, yeah, but we brought back to a regular teleporter and had over here. It might actually have been a better idea to just bring a tele, just make a teleporter. And yeah, there's, there's one there, actually, yeah. And wait, there's another teleporter room here? Or it looks to be. Could that be the end of the story? Yeah, I'm not going to try for more fire slimes, so let's just see if we can... What gets thrown there? Oh, hello. Yeah, we, we need to get out of here. Just full retreat. Yeah, uh, when we get back home, this made a good investment in teleporter. Nope. Wait. Should have waited for my energy to refill there, because for a moment I thought I was <laughs> to fall into the sea. Up there, and I guess that that would be quick or whatever word you want to use. You flip a fly stop and drown in the stadium. Ow, get the was one of the rocks. Okay, um, from here we can get there. Good timing on that one ending. Okay. I think we should be safe. Yep, we are safe now. Well, not safe from the grumps there. And not safe from possibly falling... In, wait. This way. <laughs> From what I thought, like, what way did I turn? Wait, did you say grumps? Yeah. Yeah, and because grumps? the... Grumps, the, 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 the fellow slams are grumpy. Yeah. Game Grumps! <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Put the parsnips downstairs. Feed that was. No one up here. Okay, that's good. And then. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, one of the fireballs. Let's see, if I say, if I destroy crop, does it remove, or remove, well, it, okay, it doesn't remove what is already on there, so we can put that in, and, oh, it, it'll even drop it if it's ready, okay, and there we go, the rest for all of you, and the floor's for me. That's for the, at least. I can make it easier to feed them. I feed them still. Yeah. And with something they like, so they should be le less grumpy than before. Yeah, and with us, they are everyone can higher the odds of them eating it. Yeah. Uh, we are a bit low on money, so we will just sell this batch. The price might have dropped a bunch, but like I said earlier, they have a very high base price. So no matter, they, they will still give us a, quite a bunch and get away Pluto. Yeah, apparently people have, have well, apparently people like to give the dervish slimes planet name because of the circles. The, 
I think it's only Jupiter and Saturn that have rings. Does the Uranus have one? Yeah, I, I think that's just a, a single solitary ball. Yeah, I'm not going to do it again. You will be fine with it. The mosaic lords is going to give a lot. Actually, have we looked up what the mosaic lords uh, are used for? And you can go back down in there. Let's see. Uh, to, uh, yeah, we need to look them up here. Let's see. Uh, mosaic slime. Is it, uh, Mosaic floor, so that the researching this mm -hmm. are unaffected by it. Not. Oh yeah, almost certainly this glass is being studied because it's really pretty and not because it can cause devastating solar anomalies. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll have to put the tangle slimes away. Uh, move the quantums. And let's see. Oh, okay, you're giving 5,000 out of this. Probably more. Yeah, there's 5,000 from this. Lord Powerhouse. Okay. We are you can actually look at the achievements in here. Let's see. 2,500... Uh, okay, 2,500 plorts sold. And, yeah, I guess we can gather these up. For the incinerator. Though I think the, are, the harvest should be ready over there already yeah, at the docks. You still have something. What is that what happened to the glass desert? Someone took a bunch of space when I threw it into the incinerator. Yeah, that would have uh, been a thing. Okay. Wait, you, you give me credit for my yokel theory? Yeah, I, I'm not smart enough to really figure out what's probably the real lore behind all of this. But for now, we can put these guys here. Stay in there. I'm upgrade this uh, incinerator. Ow. See, you try to help one of them and they help. all you get is burns. Uh, no, I didn't think there's any more upgrades. Nope. There are some upgrades that you can get through the mini games, but you need to do quite a bit of work for that. For now, though, just give me the plorts. Those are going to be pretty pricey and then all of you can get fed in there Leave that for the incinerator when it needs to be refilled. For now, though. What, what are you yeah. calling these nodes again? The honey booms. No, that's actually what they're called as well in game. Oh, really? I want to say it's yeah. a candy. Like some sort of jar breaker that explodes in your mouth, though in this case, quite literally. With that. That's a lot of words. Why don't you go in with them? Let's see, actually this... Yeah, that should lead us to there. But our inventory is already full. Fun fact, I find your break is disgusting. I'm not sure if I've actually ever tried one. Or if I ever... Mr. Tom, you're in here. You're being leaking... 
two weeks. Okay. Do you hear, do you hear the problem? Yes. Is it, you may have used a leak and get dust on you. Um, so you need to mix those with something that eats fruit. Oh dear. Actually, the quantum. No, I, we do not want the. We do not want the tangles to roam freely. Especially if we want to per, perhaps put anything else over there. But now though, what is the price on these things actually? Only seventy. Okay. Then let's grab our hunter lords and deposit those. And. Did I get the blueprint for the refinery link already, or not? Don't think I did. And they are hungry again. Well, of course. Let's see. Pardon? Okay, you're a bunch of grumps. Grumps are stuck with Game Thrones uh, intro music. Or you would call it. I haven't actually watched their stuff that often. Same. That sounds funny, but. I think it's a bit more than you give me the morning. It's been a while, it's been a while. It's still reduced, but that means I have many things to do. Uh, I might need to watch their stuff sometime. Uh, like, like I said, I, I've seen some things of them, but not much, so I'm not really sure if they'd be uh, of my interest, really. Also, have we upgraded hey, this? Okay, we there, have. There are games that have been doing all quite fun, and some new characters that are made, also very hilarious, like Cotton Candy Randy. <laughs> have you heard of him? Uh, no, but just that name. Let me see this. He apparently killed the devil with the glory hell. If you put on the right guy, think again. Yeah, it's useful that these things have an activation button on them, and well, it also just messes with the slimes in there. Okay. So you need a, a good cleaning out of that. Okay, I think we have more than enough of these ports at the moment, so we can sell these. I already... Was I standing a bit too close there or something? Yeah, anyways. Okay, you got out somehow. Okay, you can just keep roaming around. Freedom! Um, okay, now we have our we have our tangles. We don't have food for the melee at the moment. This is probably going to be a problem. Well, of course, it's going to be a problem. So we'll probably want to focus on these drones for a bit. We have a good amount of all of that. So let's just make a bunch of apiaries. Uh, don't forget. Oh, oh. Yeah, warp tech, pink teleporter. We need more deep brine and hexacomb and strange diamond. I don't know if we need those for both ends of it. Also, this this teleporter leads to Victor's place, so that's why it's here and all. All right, all right. Let's see. Refinery link allows you to remotely deposit resources in the refinery. Beyond that, there isn't really too much that we really need at the moment. Like we could, we could get these teleporters, but I think for now, 
just uh, getting resources and uh, reorganizing the farm a bit might you know, work better. Yeah. So we are we are 90 minutes in now, so a bit under a half an hour left. I could do the reorganizing off screen. Because, well, it would just be me running around a lot and just moving slimes back and forth. Actually, it's not a good idea for me to pick these up because we are he if we're heading to the abstractors, we kind of need space. <laughs> so, if we put up refinery links in every area, we could easily just go drop off our stuff at those. Instead of having to move back to the refinery instead. Okay. Now we have them over there. We've neglected them there over the <laughs> quite a bit. We've put them farther away from the teleporter than needed. We have the one at the entrance, the pump. And then there's the ones in their overgrowth. For that one, I really want to put down a teleporter if possible. And now, though, this way. Hmm. Yeah, the, the drive reef, we have easy access through through the main entrance. The, we have easy access here through the teleporter. Even though, well, I put this one far too far away. And yeah, for the oh, no, for the moss blanket, I keep missing, I keep mixing up those names. For the moss blanket, it'll be easier for me to put down. Uh, there it is. To put down a teleporter. Take me that. Oh, a strange diamond. And okay, so it doesn't run continuously. You, just, you do need to empty it out. Okay. We got something very useful out of that, at least. Yeah, and we did need the deep rhyme. Oh, wait, slime also. Not deep rhyme. And it's the jelly stones jelly. also needed. The jelly stone. Why does the jelly stone come from there? Uh, jelly stone park? Yeah. Though, I don't think we'll find any bears here. Especially once wearing ties and going after picnic, picnic baskets. I always said uh, business baskets or something. Come back! As a kid, I hate you, you bear! All this time I... Okay, I had my light on at stage one instead of stage two all this time, so... Oh well. Not like too many people want to see my ugly mug anyways. Yeah, don't worry about that. And right away. I guess I really despise and hate Yogi Bear. I, I really did not like his shows. Okay. And I feel like I still don't. The only one I actually found a bit funny was the movie. Alright. But I want to deal with it. Please go to. Okay. Like, if you could see my price, my plate, depending how often you do that, I could get better annoyed. But you could go to all the cars. And if you see you do that to all the people, I would probably get even madder. Let's see. Cramsey in the chat. If you think about it, people are selling plorts because they are fertilizer, unless it's another reason, because so far you can only guess that plorts act like feces. Uh, well, the Slimepedia actually gives uh, stuff about what these plorts are used for, like pink plorts, actually, it's multi purpose generic substance, manufacture everything from food products to household cleaners. And with the rocks, we have a key component in the reduction of blue steel or blue metal. Alloy stronger than titanium and lighter than plastic. The tabbies, they are used for ta -ta -ta, performance enhancing products, so steroids. Phosphors are used in lighting. 
Rad slimes as an energy source, I think, yeah. For their incredible energy producing capabilities and so on. It's actually quite fun to read on each of those. And speaking of ports, let's gather these up. And yeah, let, let's see if we can make the pink teleporter. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I think we need more honey or something. Let's see. Warp tech. Brine, actually. Okay, so let's make some pumps. Or a pump. And let, let's put a collector on here and a music box. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we need we need to feed or we need to we need to mix the tangles with something to make them easier to feed for now though um, one of the view get, uh, actually there's an extra view okay granny another granny we have one of Okay, not much of a feast for the uh, <clears throat> for the tangles at the moment, and we also have these guys that we need to feed. And oh, elder roostros. Okay, uh, one, two, two, one of you, one of you. Uh, yeah, we'll need to put a new one in there. Luckily, we just got a new one. Okay, fly. And I, I overshot. Uh, let's see, Pramchi again. I'm guessing honey ports are delicious, but even if they are, I would eat you know, one in my life. Yeah, uh, because uh, again, even though they, they're used for multiple things, they come out when a slime eats, so I kind of see it as feces. Yeah. Oh, uh, wooden. I well in uh, the early episode. Uh, yeah. And just because you brought it up, honey slime. Honey plorts are highly prized for by food manufacturers. Though the plorts are naturally incredibly sweet, the discovery that they could be further refined into an even sweeter substance made their demand soar. These refined honey plorts are set to score an unprecedented 867 on the Werner Tom Hampkins hung Sacrino uh, scale. Just a few points shy of not fit for human consumption. Yeah, I, I guess with uh, I guess with slime plorts, ignorance is bliss. Now let's feed these. Uh, feed some of them. Oh, in, in science, they might not be pieces, and, well... Yep, yes, and if you look at the slime, people, look at them. Do they see that they have digestive organs or all Yeah, it's more like a sort of refinement, perhaps, but, yeah, the human mind will think uh, things in systems that they will easily recognize, and, yeah. <laughs> Thing go out, thing, uh, thing go in, thing go out, thing go uh, out, uh, bad. Yeah, that's a typical one that... Uh, yeah, they, they can reach outside of the prowl with those tentacles. Yeah. Oh, oh, I know. Thought might be close to the breast when you got me out. Doesn't really make it much better, but okay. Yeah, it is better than these two. Yeah, uh, it does. It it makes it a lot better than that. Yes, and hmm, it might actually be decent to leave these quantums just roaming around. I say that. Who of you is? We do not oh, want them near. We do not want them near the tangles. Even though the food is pretty spread around, we do not want the, even the chance of a tangle getting their hands on the plort. Oh, 
Okay, so we might need to move the, these after all. Okay, the problem will be where to put them. And again, if I would do it on stream or not. It would probably be easiest to mix them with something that eats fruit, because that's a lot easier to get. Actually, maybe mixing them with... Well, we already have a few things mixed with the honey slimes. Okay, he's not hungry. Hello. Why don't they even need it to mix these with the honeys? Because we already have a, just a bunch of uh, honey ports. Or no, boom ports. No. They do look like candy. Go. Oh, uh, it goes back in. That, that ice goes down quite quick, it seems. Uh, I hope we didn't lose any of these guys. Okay, there is a max limit. Okay, that got me a bit worried for a moment, and actually, you guys want that. Um, yeah, go ahead. Well, how new, obviously, but also something that extremely spicy. Yep. Oh, that's in one of the elderly gone. And apparently, okay, that ran out of power. It's annoying. Anyways, let's just drop this off. And then we go visit the, all of the collectors. Finally. Because I got distracted again. <laughs> and yeah, we we really want just uh, one of the teleporters to get easy access to the mask blanket. Th this game, this this game, you have to do a lot, and you just get distracted every time with some things, which is not entirely a bad thing since it keeps you bit moving, keeps you busy. But yep. some people would start seeing that as more as busy work than actual entertainment. So let's yeah, take a look at our drink. There's a point where you can't get too hot and there's too much time work that's the only thing to do in the main work. There's... And these finally get fed again. If, no, you go in the box, not out the box. Okay. Ogden's Party Punch. One part pogo fruit juice, one part pickle pear juice, two parts starfire rum. Gets you dancing. Okay, uh, pogo, don't mint, try it and don't try it. We can pick it up easily enough later. For now... Primordial Oral. It's the little dance they do in there. dust. Okay, we've got three new things there. Let's have a look. Spiral Steam. If you search for it, you'll find something wonderful. Spiral... Uh, Found in highly pressurized vacuums uh, of rock below the surface, spiral steam exhibits a curious behavior when released into the atmosphere, swirling into a series of dancing spirals before dissipating. It's a val it is valued for the countless microparticles found within the steam itself. Okay, uh, probably best kept away from people who have watched uh, read uh, Junji Ito's material. What? Uh, what the function or not? Or should I ask? Yeah, probably not. Uh, it's All right. it's about a pretty well-known horror manga, and let's just say the the author Junji Ito. Uh, let's just say that he's good at what he does. All right. Mario soil. This stuff is pre pre prehistoric. Okay. 
It's uh, Thunder or... Nope. What is going it on? It says it there three times. Found deep below the surface of the far, far range, primordial oil is a ancient substance containing a wide array of organic compounds, making it perfect as a base for, ma base for many slime science creations. And lava it dust. It seriously mispronounced that name every time! Which name? Primordial. Slime science. Hey, oh, okay, I saw it was primordial. <laughs> okay. I, I missed that process where they realized, oh wait, the it misspelled. And you went for a trick, but took longer to realize it yourself. All right, moving on. Lava dust. A survey of, on the state of this matter answered undecided. Okay. What? Neither a, neither a solid or a liquid, lava dust seems to be something in between, having the characteristics of both. It is believed to be a mixture of magma and slime, but it has never been proven. And despite its name, lava dust is only warm to the touch. Okay, so a non-Euclidean non uh, fluid, so to speak. I've, I probably butchered the word there. Wait, you mean you could if you... If you punch it, you you hurt yourself, but if you slowly enter it, you can fall through it? Yeah. Then that's the that's the basic of non-Euclidean. I think that's the pronunciation non-Euclidean uh, materials. Uh, or fluids. If you uh, on impacts it acts as a solid. On uh, or, or, but on uh, just putting something on it, it'll just sink in. So basically, don't play with lava dust. Yeah. Though it does, it does sound like it's not actually going to burn, burn you. And the, the hunters just really want plorts. It seems we are going to need to mix them with something. And hello, actually, I'm not going to pick that one up. We need to get to the overgrowth and. Getting the moment's distraction, but just to get this done, I... we can get pogo fruit on the way. Actually, we're probably going to end up with an full inventory anyways, so maybe not. For what I thought it was a dervish slime, but no, it's the, it's the pump. <laughs> So, yeah, we. That primordial oil is what's needed for the teleporters, but we'll have to see if if we get both ends of the teleporter or if we need to make you know, two sides of it to basically double the cost. That's a good question. Yeah, for now, though, just getting to the apiary, I believe. Yeah, we can go back to the teleporter there. We need to look up a bit of a place with a lot of spots to put down the apiaries. So let's turn this on. The transition area is completely empty because it probably counts more as the slime sea of any specific area. Okay, honey? Buzzwax, <laughs> okay. No royal jelly, so if we do not get any jelly, then we can get the progo fruit as well. And no, no, no jelly. Okay. Let's see then. Resources. And where is it? Buzzwax. Can be used to make a great scented candle if you enjoy the smell of bee abdominal glands. Okay. Just like bees on the earth, bees on the far, far range produce a waxy substance that they use to form their hives. Buzz wax is the still malleable deposits of unused wax found in apiaries. It has many practical uses ranging from building materials to medicines. You can also chew it as the worst gum in the world. <laughs> okay. Speaking of atomic spheres, that helium? No. You sure? 
Uh, I typically prefer pepper. Uh, what? Peppermint? No. What? I have a packet of it here nearby. Or no, that was the peppermint. one that helps with teeth. So, yeah, that, okay, see. peppermint gum. All right, that makes uh, sense. Yeah. I was yep. wondering. Peppermint oh. gum. I got it right here. Supposedly, it helps a bit with keeping your teeth clean. And well, visit to the <laughs> dentist is on the on the agenda shortly. So uh, yeah, every little bit that might help, even if it might help. In the case of your teeth, the placebo wouldn't work at least in the slightest. Yeah. I wonder when uh, they go call me, me again. Well, I have insurance and all, so they call me regularly. How are we, well, uh, current uh, situation with the world? You probably don't be, many people don't be able to allow to go to the dentist for obvious reasons. Yeah. And I didn't know that you sank in water. I thought you'd float. So, okay. We still need to yeah, bring this wow. stupid thing back sometime. Wait, how far are we from home? Well, not far anymore. Okay. okay, let's quickly deposit this. Then we go grab the food for Ogden. Might as well double check what we need for the teleporter. Let's see. More pink plorts, and then we have enough for at least one. And it, it's, the primordial oil is for the refinery link. Let's see. Pump. Yes, we need more plort pinks. Though we can make a drone. So there we go. Okay. We have Actually, we could probably set it up right here to feed the pinks. And how long has the floor been there? And why hasn't one of the tabbies grabbed it yet? Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Actually, there's not really a need to put a teleporter here for the, the reef. Since we can put them at the entrance. Let's see. Drone. Install. <laughs> okay, let's see. E to activate targets. Roots. Swords. Gardens. And then the corals. Actually, okay, so I hmm, I can't set a specific uh, coral as its target. It'll just go to any. Okay, that changes things a bit from what I had planned, actually. Hmm. Oh. So you basically prefer that to handle add and feed slimes that it likes the same food, basically. Yeah, that... that I had thought you could uh, program them a bit more specifically, like to go for a specific coral. But no, this, this then means that we'll have to put the... Why are they trying to get to each other? Are you trying to provoke them, kitty? Nope. The only fire brands that are allowed here are the fire slimes. But, okay, let's set it up for that. Group. Then we get it from gardens. The target, the source, and the destination where they will bring it. Corals. Okay. And there it goes. Now they have an internal storage from what I saw. It's searching around. It's found the garden. And now it brings it over to a coral. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I could change that one over to a fruit as well. Hello, kitty. Bye, kitty. Yeah, 
get it. That, that complicates things a tiny bit if it's not going to be specific. Um, okay, that's the two hour mark. Um, yeah, I guess the only thing we need to change is the rock slimes. Yeah. Okay, Kitty, if you're going to be a troublemaker, into the corner. Let's see, where did it go? Oh, it's gathering more fruits. You as well. I was trying to shoot it through then, but okay. And it just goes back to... Okay, uh, the drone has a preference. Or maybe it's doing that because these are the closest ones. Hmm. Can I... I can pick it up. Okay. Then if I install it over here. Drone, install. Then I set it to the same stuff. Gardens and silos. Activate. And I'm guessing... No, yeah, it, it's in sleep mode because it can't do anything at the moment. Let me actually grab these up. Will that wake it up? Or will it only be pick from the tree itself? No, it, it will pick from the tree alone. Okay, but if I understand, if I'm, my guess is right, it will go, uh, it should bring it to the pink slimes now, which are a bit more important at the moment. And let's just empty that thing out. Hmm. Okay. Again, the... Yeah, let's keep, let's keep things on stream. World, even with the reworking, I'll just have to move these guys somewhere else where it'll get fed, uh, or I just keep feeding them manually like this. If I am correct, that this will take care of the pink slimes for me now. Yeah, that, that little revelation, if, it, if again, if it is correct, that they only work with the closest two points, that is going to change. Uh, how I need to work with this a bit more. And yeah, you these drones work on water. <laughs> so you, you refuel them by providing water at them. What? And oh welcome back, Pramsia, though we are at the two hour mark, so we still we will be closing down in a bit. Or, hmm. uh, yeah, we we got a drone now. And it looks like it'll work with the two closest points that you program it for. Because at the moment it is programmed to gather fruit from gardens and... Oh, oh si I misclicked. It, it was set to sign it to silos when there's no silo in this area. So if I do this... Yep. There we go. Let's see. Pramsey, I have a question for you. Do you think plorts are hard like rocks or slimy like their slimes? Well, they do seem to be hard. Uh, and... Wait, it's harder than the slimes. Yeah. But maybe that's a rubber? Did it, did it just tease all of those slimes by flying through their corral? And yeah, now, it, now it's feeding the pink ones, or... It, what are you doing, drone? And now it's... Oh! Okay, I might... I think I have it... Phosphorus love few berries. So it's sending the food to the ones that it prioritizes the species that has a favorite... Uh, that it has the favorite fruit of. And pink has no favorites. Yeah. But if we were to mix it with a por uh, with a phosphor, then it might send uh, start feeding them as well. That's a lot of ports in there. That's probably not going to be steady for it, you know, less by the end. Yeah. 
Then I'm pretty sure drones are you know, programmed to be careful that they won't don't somehow cause more you know, cause more logos to appear or something. Uh, let's see. Ramsey again. I think because it looks like it has a thin layer of slime on and the inside is hard. Like, if you pick one up, it looks like that. Oh, never mind, they don't <laughs> look like that. Yeah, the, the slime, the, the layer is just when they, uh, where, <laughs> when the <clears throat> slimes produce them. The, let me take these for an example. And let's take one of you out for the moment. I said one, not three. Then we move a bit away so we don't create any more Largos. Okay, escape attempt. There. It makes a, a bit of a capsule for a moment. Let's see. But I think it might still uh, be like uh, that with a thin layer of slime, but hearts. Yeah, a good chance that it is that it is slimy until it is cleaned or dried or something. But okay, now now we have a good a decent understanding of how these drones work, so we can totally use that to our advantage. Um, let's see. So we, we got quite a bit done here, and yeah, next week then we'll be getting more drones. Hopefully we'll explore further into the glass desert because we know there are, is this place now? And there is this place here, which I think this might be the thing that might end the game, quote unquote, unless there is another hidden area. So, this yeah. Like hmm. Almost, unless that's supposed to take you to Slime Ranch in two. Yeah, maybe. We also have another. We have. We also have more of the desert to restore to green with the oasis. For that, we'll need Tangle and Dervish plorts. And then there's just plain automation over here. So. Yeah, I, I won't reorganize the place on, off stream if we do much more of that. Yeah, well, we, we probably will be doing some of that, but not too much. Not as much as I thought possibly. Or I, I overplanned a bit with that. But yeah, I, I won't be changing things off screen. I, we, we actually can. I know I, we emptied it out earlier, so we can't empty out the pump now. Let's see, Tramsey, I got to a place I wasn't supposed to one time with my jetpack. Yeah, I, I had that a lot with the beta version of this game as well. Where you, you can just get on top of... Is that a chicken noise? Or was, maybe that was the drone waking up. I think I've been drone waking up. Either way, there, there are plenty of places where you can get to now by just getting on top of rocks high enough that the jetpack will start recharging. Not like that. And yeah, I, I managed to get it out of bounds a few times with that as well. So yeah, next week more exploring, uh, more ranching. <laughs> Uh, any thoughts you have, Rukir? Uh, hello. Oh! I can't agree with the clown. Uh, let's see, last thing from Francie. What I meant uh, was I was able to skip a whole part of the map with my jetpack so I didn't need a slime key. <laughs> okay. We're probably going to need more of those as well at the end here. I, I, no, not there, here. Because I, there, there are still more slime keys for us to find here at the ruins, and I think, I think we have them all at the moss blankets, and the, the reef, and uh, the indigo plot, the indigo quarry. 
I almost said Indigo Plateau because of uh, Pokemon. Uh, oh. yeah. Again, next time, more Glass Desert, more Rancing, and we'll try to get more of those gadgets working and see how that all goes. And I I'm still surprised that the, the, the drones can actually figure out what's you know, can actually prioritize foods. I did not, well, on the one hand, I th did think you could program them more precisely, but oh well. And also next time we'll try to get access to Victor's minigame, but that'll all have to wait until next week. So yeah, thank you for watching, Pramsey, and anyone else who may have been watching. And as always, special thanks to you, here. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, as usual, until then, until then. Be safe, folks!